Thank you so much. And I wish to donate my time probably to my brother, Muhammad Ali, who is next to me. You can surrender your time, but you cannot choose the next speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. The Manyata. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for this uh, uh, opportunity to give my, uh, my maiden speech. And first, I want to start by thanking God and the people of Manyata constituency for giving me this opportunity to share with my fellow members of uh, parliament uh, as the president called it a premium platform of the chosen uh, few and I'm privileged to be one of them. I want to tell uh, the people of Manyata that I'll try my best to represent them fully and ensure that their voice is heard. I also want to join my brother from Umiya's East to request that we, uh, the, the, the newcomers, be given a very good share of the time in this house so that we can air our views and those of our constituents. I also want to say that I'm looking forward to working with my fellow members to solve various issues that are affecting this country, especially joblessness of our young people. Honorable Speaker, we have many crises in this country, but the crisis of lack of jobs is one that requires serious attention. I'm looking forward to bringing motions in this house that are going to help solve that menace. And while we are at it, I would like to say that in the presidential speech, he was able to say a few things that will be able to solve this issue and at least have our jobless youths getting an opportunity to work and be able to continue with their lives. He spoke of Hustlers Fund, and he said that he will be able to give 50 billion at first so that the Hustler Fund can help our young people. I hope that this money will be able to be given good legislation by this house so that it gets to the right hands. We have had issues where funds, some of them being mentioned by my fellow members here, don't get to the right hands. And they don't make an impact to the right people. I'm looking forward to being part of that team. The issue of procurement of government equipment and tenders, we had a good role that can, be, can help solve the issue of joblessness. And there was a promise of 30% procurement. We would like to see and ensure that this House legislates that if people don't follow such rules, they are supposed to be brought to books. Honorable Speaker, the issue of CRB is an issue that has affected many young people. We have had more than 19 million Kenyans having been listed as not credit worthy. I'm happy with the presidential direction. It is the step in the right direction. We are hoping to improve on that and ensure we give legislation where CRB will be rank ranking, member, ranking uh, our, our people instead of blacklisting them. We are hoping also Uwezo Fund, Youth Fund, Women Fund and the Hustlers Fund will be digitized so that these monies get to the most remote areas of this country. Those that cannot reach even the towns of our constituencies or our counties. Honorable Speaker, His Excellency the President spoke a lot on the issue of agriculture. 
I myself from Manyata constituency come from a very agricultural area. An area where we farm a lot of coffee, tea, horticulture, and maize. I'm very happy with the issue of fertilizer. I don't like to say that, Honorable Speaker, the fertilizer is reaching in Manyata constituency, but there is a need, as my fellow members have said, to improve and ensure that we have more and more uh, people uh, getting the fertilizer. But that being said, we also want to ensure that we provide seedlings and good seedlings to our farmers so that we don't give them fertilizer, but then they are left uh, with a loss of 3,500 shillings per bag because they don't have good seeds. So I appeal to the government to ensure that the fertilizer gets to our people, but also good seedlings, so that we can be able to farm. And Honorable Speaker, we need to feed ourselves as a country. We are not able to feed ourselves. And uh, Honorable Speaker, from what I can see from our neighbors in Uganda, we might be attacked. So we should be ready in case such thing happen, so that we don't get our eggs from Uganda our maize from Tanzania, and all those things that we get from our other countries. Kenya has enough land. All we need is to improve on our agriculture and ensure that irrigation is done in those semi-arid areas. Honorable Speaker, the issue of corruption has been mentioned a few times. And I want to correct my fellow members who are saying the President did not touch on the issue of corruption. The fact that he's talked about empowerment of our institutions, he clearly and vehemently talked about corruption. Corruption has gotten where it is today in this country because most of our institutions that are supposed to handle it have not been able to handle it well. The increase of fund to the judiciary is a step in the right direction. And Honorable Speaker, if that happens, you'll see corruption cases being solved better. The autonomy of the police service is also important, and that, His Excellency the President, has done very good. We need to empower institutions such as ESCC so that the issue of corruption, and including this House, is supposed to be solved, and we are not supposed to be speaking about it as one of the members said, every now and then. Honorable Speaker, if we do that, we will be able to protect the agenda or the plan that the President has given. And the only way we can have all these projects and these dreams coming true is if we solve the issue of corruption once and for all. Honorable Speaker, the issue of CDF is an issue that is very passionate to the people of Manyata. And I would like to say that CDF should not be understated on what it has done to our people. As a matter of fact, Mr. Speaker, we need to increase that fund. We need to have more money so that we can be able to ensure our people school well, those that are, cannot be able to uh, get school fees, we are giving them bursaries. Our schools sometimes they are in very bad conditions. We need to ensure, uh, Honorable Speaker, that we improve the standards of living. And Honorable Speaker, as I say that, we need to realize the future of education in this country lies in the day schools that were started by one Honorable Mwai Kibaki. The day schools of this country depend only on CDF. And I hope these members will fight for that fund so that it does not go anywhere. And I still don't understand why the law of 2013 is said to be illegal, but 
member for Bumola.